the Pacific Coast Highway, a breathtaking coastal route that spans California's length. It offers a rich journey through stunning landscapes. This iconic road winds along the coast with roads that twist like a ribbon, waves that crash with an orchestral crescendo, and mountain passes that steal your breath away. It truly is a dynamic masterpiece. In 1941, the Roosevelt Highway, US 101 of the 1920s, evolved into the Pacific Coast Highway, a change that mirrored the road's evolution into an emblem of beauty and adventure. Contrary to common belief, Highway 1 doesn't stretch from the Mexico border all the way to Canada. It starts in Orange County in Capistrano Beach. It's a city street from there through Santa Monica and into Malibu. It has numerous street names, but the most common is Pacific Coast Highway, or PCH, as referred to by the locals. The path occasionally hugs the shore, but it mostly travels through neighborhoods. You'll find some of the most iconic skate shops along PCH. The most scenic sections of the road are from Laguna Beach to Naples, just south of Long Beach, and from Santa Monica to Oxnard via Malibu. Some will debate that, especially when you head a little bit further north. As you make your journey up towards Monterey, Big Sur and the entire area is absolutely iconically gorgeous. Instagram famous, some would say. We do have a little bit of a battle between different parts of California at that point. Highway 1 is officially known as Shoreline Highway, north of the Golden Gate Bridge, and it runs along some of the same stunning coastline in Marin, Sonoma, and other counties. It comes to an end, though, north of Rockport, where it turns inland towards Leggett, and ultimately it just vanishes, almost four hours away from the Oregon border. Crafting this magnificent route was a Herculean feat. Over 25 years, construction crews delved into the earth, carved through mountains, and bridged across America's western edge, weaving through the coastal splendors of California, Oregon, and Washington. Travel back to 1887. Dr. John L.D. Roberts envisioned a connection between communities along the coast. Seaside, the town that he founded, emerged from his vision. A shipwreck compelled him to travel to Point Sur, tending to injured for hours. This experience led him to capture the rugged terrain in photographs, birthing the legacy of the first surveyor of this wild coastline. Highway 1's construction kicked off in 1919, and what was initially estimated at $1.5 million transformed into an enduring tale of federal funds and state contributions. San Quentin Prison played a part with temporary camps established for inmates. Their 35 set a day labor shortened their sentences and etched their stories into the road's foundations. Imagine the detonations that echoed across the landscape as 70,000 pounds of dynamite chiseled through granite, marble, and sandstone. Lime flowed like liquid to form concrete, while over 10 million cubic yards of rock crumbled beneath the earth's moving efforts. Yet, these actions came at a cost. Scars etched into the land later met with restoration efforts. Amid the journey, the iconic Bixby Bridge at Big Sur stands tall. Built with 6,600 cubic yards of concrete and 600,000 pounds of steel, the Rainbow Arch, once a whisper of 300,000 board feet of Douglas fir, now resonates with the stories of its creation. As you traverse the Pacific Coast Highway, Give yourself 10 to 12 hours without pause. The true treasures, though, lie within the stops. You might want to give yourself a couple weeks' time to enjoy the journey. PCH just isn't a road, it's an odyssey. It challenges you with steep ledges, teetering cliffs, and curves that flirt with your courage. Guardrails vanish. Sometimes you're at the mercy of your own brakes and nerves. An overall thrilling chapter in the sensation of what is the Pacific Coast Highway. These are Interesting Things with J.C.